friends, thanks for coming back to hang out with me for another week of Sunday School Online. Hey, so the last few weeks, do you guys remember what we've been learning about? The armor of God. We learned about the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Today we're going to learn about the next part of the armor of God that can help us fight evil. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever gotten mad? I know I have. Maybe someone took your toy or you're fighting with your brother or sister. I'm sure you guys never ever do that, right? So let's take a minute and talk about some things that we do when we're mad. Maybe you yell, maybe you cry. Can you think of something you do with your feet when you're mad? Maybe stomp. Sometimes I stomp when I get mad. Does that happen with you guys? Let's all take a minute and do our loudest stop it, stomping. Ready, set, go. Now that was fun to stomp because we were being silly, but it's not so nice to stomp when we're mad. What does stomping have to do with the armor of God? Well, let's jump into Ephesians chapter six and find out. So Ephesians chapter six is where we've been reading. It's where Paul talks about the armor of God. So let's see, we're gonna start in verse 14, uh, 13, sorry. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Remember, these are all tools that we use to fight evil. All right, stand therefore having fastened the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and as for shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. All right, so remember, when we talk about these different parts of armor, they're not real things that we put on, they're reminders to us of how we should act and how we can act and live our lives to help fight evil. So what Paul was talking about is, is living peacefully and especially in times of conflict and strife, instead of stomping our feet loud like we may want to, choosing to be peaceful. So I brought a couple pairs of shoes up to talk with you guys about. I have lots of different kinds of shoes. I have uh, flip-flops for when it's sunny. I have tennis shoes for when I wanna exercise or play outside. I have boots for when it's raining or when it's snowing. So let me show you the, the shoes I brought up and we'll talk about them, okay? Oof. All right, so I brought two different pairs of shoes. The first pair are my boots. They're heavy, they're big, and I use these to stomp in puddles. They're loud and they're heavy. They're not something that I could say tiptoe around in. But then I have these shoes. They're really light. They're not very thick. They're kind of thin. They're flexible. These would be great tiptoeing shoes. So we're gonna look at a story in John chapter 18 about when Jesus chose to, war, to wear shoes of peace and tiptoe quietly with peace. And then there were some other people huh, that chose to wear big, heavy boots and stomp around angrily. Were they actually wearing these shoes? No, but you'll see what, we, what I'm talking about when we get into the story. So we're not gonna read it all word for word now, but I really encourage you guys, jump into your Bibles this week, read John chapter 18, and after you see what we're gonna do, you can do a fun project with it at home, a fun activity. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is what's going on. So in John chapter 18, Jesus is sitting he enters into a garden, a beautiful garden with his friends. Now, Jesus' friends were, were really close to him. They, they traveled with him, they shared the gospel with him, they were, were true to him, they treated each other with kindness and love. These were people that really cared about each other. So now I have a question for you. Does that sound like quiet, peaceful tiptoeing shoes or stomping boots? peaceful tiptoeing shoes. 
So then all of a sudden, these soldiers come barging into the garden, running, stomping, yelling, and with them came a guy named Judas. He used to be God's friend, or Jesus's friend, but he wasn't anymore. What do you guys think? Were those guys wearing shoes of peace or maybe not? I'm gonna guess they were wearing big, heavy, stomping, loud, mean shoes. So what happens next is, so these, you know, angry shoulders come running in. They are um, carrying torches and swords and are yelling and fighting and coming really aggressively. And here's the thing, guys. It says that Jesus knew their evil plan. Jesus knew why they were there. He, he knew what they were coming to do. It was not nice, but guys, he met them with kindness and peace. If someone came running at you with a sword and a torch, do you think you would be able to meet them with peace? I don't think I would. Man, Jesus is really incredible. So he meets them with kindness and peace. He doesn't try to fight them. He doesn't yell back at them. He, he meets them with kindness. So, you know, Jesus meets them with kindness, with his shoes of peace, and then the soldiers say, where's Jesus? Yelling, stomping, still really mean. They had a mean plan to hurt Jesus, and they were trying to find him. Okay, so then Jesus, okay, wearing his shoes of peace, he said, hey, I'm Jesus, but leave my friends alone. Please don't hurt them. Please care for them. I love, like, don't hurt them. These are people that I love and care for. So they go ahead and they leave Jesus's friends alone. And you know what happens next? So do you remember the guy I talked about at the beginning, Judas? He used to be Jesus's friend, but he betrayed Jesus. So Ju Judas walks up to Jesus and gives him a kiss. And this wasn't like a sweet, nice kiss, like to say, hi friend, I missed you. Judas did this so he could so show the soldiers who Jesus was so they could capture him and hurt him. Does that sound like shoes of peace, guys? I don't think so. So what happens next is, you know, Jesus wearing his shoes of peace. He didn't yell at them. He didn't, he knew what was happening. Remember, Jesus is God. He knew what was happening. He knew what was coming. And he still chose to keep his shoes of peace on. And um, he didn't yell at them. He just asked them like, hey, what are you guys doing here? Jesus's friends were not happy. They tried to fight the soldiers. One of them even cut off one of the soldiers' ears. That's crazy. So they were fighting and stomping and yelling, not wearing shoes of peace, even though they were friends of Jesus. So what happened next, I think is really amazing. Jesus asked them to stop fighting and then he healed the soldier's ear. The soldier who was coming to capture him and hurt him, he healed his ear. Guys, if that's not being full of peace, I don't know what is. So, you know, Jesus, still wearing his shoes of peace, said, hey, why are you guys here? I won't hurt anyone. You know, just reminding them, like, being kind, choosing to be peaceful in what could be really a not peaceful situation. Jesus could have stomped, he could have yelled, he could have fought back, but he didn't. He chose peace. He knew that, that God, his Father, calls us to peace, to live peacefully. So, guys... I want you to think about that the next time that you're in a situation where you want to stomp or get mad or yell or be angry. Think about what Jesus did in the garden and how he treated those people. Think about what Paul tells us to do when we're putting on the armor, to choose to put on peacefulness so that we can fight evil and fight the enemy. Guys, you know how much I love hanging out with you and doing these lessons. I think it is so cool to go through the armor of God and study all the different parts. We've learned about the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, you know, putting on shoes that are ready to share the peaceful gospel. So guys, throughout your week this week, find ways to share peace with your family and your friends and your siblings in those times when you wanna choose to yell and scream and stomp your feet. Choose peace instead. Okay, friends, I will see you next time. Have a great day. And don't forget, go read John chapter 18. And when you read it, when you see the soldiers being, being, you know, angry and fighting, stomp your feet. And then when you see Jesus being peaceful, tiptoe.
I think that would be a really fun way to study God's word this week. All right, that's all I've got for you this time. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.